Welcome to Cooking Together Generations, episode 25. Uh, now the holidays have gone and passed. Uh, we're getting ready for New Year's Eve and New Year's. We hope you had a really great holiday. And today we're actually going to show you how to make a really special meal for your New Year's Eve celebrations. Uh, we know they probably will be spent pretty small or just at home, you know, with your close loved ones and family. So we wanted to make a meal and show you how to make a meal that'll be really special since we can't go out and party this year. So we are going to make some duck confit today. Uh, and show you how to do that and we're gonna tell you a little bit about the process because we've already done it over here already before we started so you will take your duck leg and or your half of your duck and you um, are going to cure it in salt for about an hour you could do longer and that's gonna get all the water out of it and the reason you want to do that is so that you don't get any um, germs or bacteria in there that can grow and then you're gonna cook it slowly in uh, its own fat uh, at a low temperature. How many? 190 degrees, just under 200. And about how long? Four or five, six hours, depending on whether you're using a whole half duck, duck legs or whatever. So about four or five hours. And then you actually need to store the duck um, completely submersed in uh, its fat, cooking fat, in order for it to stay preserved. You can throw it in the fridge um, and it'll last you up to a month. Um, after that month, you're probably gonna wanna cook it. Um, so we've already gone ahead and done and made our own duck confit and we're just gonna show you how to prepare it for dinner. So I'm gonna hand it over to dad and grandpa and they're gonna get started. All right. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is, is and I know Amanda said something about putting it into the, uh, making sure it's completely submersed in its fat. Well, one of the things that uh, you can buy is you can buy large containers of uh, duck fat. Or which, small containers. Or small <laughs> containers, but we went with the big one because, you know, yeah. you can use duck fat for a number of different things and it's yummy. So um, if you need additional fat, you can melt this down and put it over the top. So now that we've confit our duck legs, we're just doing legs, we're going to heat up a skillet, a uh, cast iron skillet, and we are going to take our legs that we've already put together. Get rid of the bay leaves. Man. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the bay leaves. I didn't see the little top of there. There we go. We're going to get rid of the bay leaf. And we are going to take and we are going to place those in the skillet for about oh, five to six minutes. And we're going to get a nice sear on those. And basically what we're trying to do is warm them up, get them a little crispy, and uh, get them... Uh, just basically heat it through so that you can uh, serve them up and put them on and make a nice presentation on the plate. So while I'm searing these, I think uh, Grandpa here is going to talk about just a few quick little things that we're going to do on the side. We tried to make this thing just be a really elegant but really simple. So you see so far it's so simple. We've got the duck legs in there. He's doing that. I've made some mashed potatoes. I made them with a... I made them with cream from the Crystal Springs. I uh, got a little uh, chives there and mix that in. So that's ready to go. So I got that ready. So I'll put the lid back on that for a minute, keep those warm. I'm gonna do one other thing here. I got a skillet with some uh, olive oil in it. I've got just classy, just the asparagus tip. You can keep the other stuff to make soup out of or just do for dinner. We'll put those in there. Now all we care about with these is, is we just want them to get bright green. We, we don't want them mushy. We want them, you know, still got a little, you know, a little tooth to them, as they say, okay? And that we're gonna, that, that's gonna be our meal. We're gonna have potatoes, duck, and asparagus. Okay, how's the duck doing? Well, I'm going to flip it over. It's been searing on the one side for a little bit. You can see that I got a little bit in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Whoo! Had a little piece come off there. Yeah, no, that, that might be cameraman piece there hanging out. So I'm going to sear them on this side. You can see I'm starting to get a little browning on each side. This piece here. Ah, uh, cameraman, we'll just... Uh, We'll just we'll leave that one sear on the side for you. So I, when I plate it up, I won't plate I won't plate that piece for you. So I'm just getting those seared up. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the asparagus here real quickly. It's right. You can see it's kind of just turned bright green. I'm going to hit it with a little lemon. Okay, and it's ready. So I'm going to plop that on the plate here. Uh, I put that off already. <laughs> Fireman's seat. 
<laughs> sure did. Okay. You're going to see how nice this plate's going to look. It's going to dazzle you, okay? So, oops, get that one out of there. And. and yeah. I'm going to grab that. Here, take yep. this too. All right, drop it right on there. So now, I'm going to give it a nice big heaping scoop of potatoes right in the middle. How are we doing there, Frost? You think you want one more? Yeah, give me a nice big pile of potatoes in the middle. While he's plating that up, I'm going to take a little red wine and I'm just going to finish these legs off with a little red wine. Love the deglazing of the pan. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And pour it in slowly. Don't dump it completely in there because I'll tell you when you do, you're going to get a lot of splatter. You're going to get a lot of pickup. So see how nice and brown we got that. The cam oh, cameraman piece, I about got burned there, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, look at that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to deglaze that just a little bit. And now that we've got that, we're going to uh, get that leg right up on there like that. And then I am going to take my spoon and I'm going to grab a little bit of the au jus from the bottom of the pan, not a lot. And we're just going to run that down. Kind of put that on the plate. Make a nice little smear for people to run their duck through. And again, it doesn't have to be a whole lot. This wine thickens. There you go. Pretty simple. Now, if that doesn't, here, I'll hand this to Amanda. If that doesn't look like a restaurant quality meal, I don't know what does. I'm going to set that down over here. I'm going to give you one last extra touch for your meal. We're going to show you how to do just a really quick, easy dessert. Um, for the kids, you can probably just leave it as some vanilla ice cream, throw some chocolate sauce on top. Uh, but we are going to do a little coffee liqueur on top of this ice cream. So I've got some coffee liqueur here. We're just going to pour it over the top. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah! And make it a little boozy. Delicious. And then, of course, no uh, New Year's Eve celebration is complete <laughs> without some champagne. So I'm going to pour up some champagne here for us. Let's see how I do. Oh. Pretty yeah, pretty good. good. I, I didn't do a continuous pour though, so it's, it'll be a B plus. All right. <laughs> if you wanted to uh, again keep it kid friendly, we of course you could do some sparkling grape juice or sparkling apple cider. I always enjoyed those as a kid. I when we had New Year's celebrations, I felt like I was one of the adults, and it was fun. So, but there it is. There's our fancy meal, and it looks like restaurant quality. Absolutely, it's beautiful. I cannot wait to eat that. I think we need to do, after the first of the year, I think we need to do a whole episode on duck. I agree. I agree. In fact, we could call it Duck You Sucker. What? Duck? What? Haven't you ever <laughs> no, seen No, I've never seen it. the movie? Don't watch the movie. It's a funny movie. We're anyway, we're, anyway, we're, moving on. Now, we're not going to call it that. Folks, moving so. on. <laughs> and spe speaking of duck, though, and I think this is a great or a great idea, is uh, you shouldn't be afraid of duck, you know? It's kind of like eating some dark meat on the chicken. If you eat it this way, if you get breast, I kind of think it's like steak if you cook it right. So it's not anything to be scared of. So this is going to be an awesome meal, and it's going to be delicious, and you won't even know you're eating duck. Don't tell, Don't tell the kids. <laughs> Remember, we got to tell them about the website. Visit us on www.cookingtogether.com. Uh, find us on Facebook, Cooking Together Generations. We're on Instagram, Cooking right. Together Generations. And uh, obviously, if you're watching this video, you're watching us on YouTube, we hope. Uh, make sure that you click the little arrow to the right on the description. Give us a thumbs up. And give us a thumbs up. And also, that's where you can find the recipes as well. So, yeah. I think... Uh, Make coffees? sure to subscribe. Oh to yeah, channel we as got well. coffees for sale now too. Hope, cure, and love. So anyway, it's uh, it's going to be a good year next year for cooking together. And we the cookbook. To it. Don't forget the cookbook. I guess the end of the year. Yeah. End okay. of the year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New year.